Hey YouTube, welcome to the Shooter's Resource Channel. Today we're going to review the Savage 110 Hunter model. This one's chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, but I've also got another video on the Savage 110 Desert Tactical, so if you're interested in that model, check it out on the channel. Before we get started, take a second, support the channel by hitting that like and subscribe button. Now the Savage is very feature rich. It's got this polished chrome bolt that operates very smooth. It's got a 24 inch barrel that shoots sub MOA groups right out of the box. Uh, in this one that's chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, that's got a one and eight twist. The total weight of the rifle is seven and a half pounds, which makes it very manageable in terms of carrying it. And it's serving in my family as a youth model right now for my son JW. Everybody knows that Savage is famous for their match grade accuracy and they achieve it in a couple different ways. One really impressive thing that they've got going on is their Savage AccuTrigger. This trigger breaks so clean and crisp it's just amazing, especially for the price point that this rifle comes in. Now, the overall weight uh, in terms of the trigger is somewhere around that two and a half pound mark in terms of adjustability and it is a fully adjustable trigger. So that's just amazing, uh, an amazing value that you get out of the box is a trigger that you really don't have to do anything to and it's already coming in at about two and a half pounds at its lowest adjustment. The Savage 110 series now comes with a full length aluminum chassis that's embedded in the plastic stock. It fully supports the chamber in all three dimensions and it free floats the barrel giving superior accuracy. No need to replace this stock that you get from the factory which in the past when I normally buy let's say a $500 to $700 rifle I normally have to buy an aftermarket stock for somewhere in the neighborhood of about $300. So this is great that it comes in with the adjustable comb height and length of pull plus the aluminum chassis. So there's no need to replace these uh, once you get them home. The Savage has everything needed to be an amazingly accurate rifle. Over the life of this rifle, I've averaged 0.6 to 0.7 MOA out to over 500 yards. If you're in the market for a new hunting rifle, this is amazing value. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.